Sodium for salty times Magnesium Aluminium silicon Phosphorus Then sulfur chlorine and argon No, 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 stop. We have a serious problem. Hey everyone, Nick here, and how often does a generation see the discovery of a new element? The sad truth is not that frequently, and when it happens, not many people know about it. Thankfully, scientists recently isolated four brand new elements that have huge implications in the field of quantum mechanics. It finally looks like the element song and the periodic table need some serious revision. Let's check it out. Much of the chemistry we learn in school fails to go past many of the essential elements and organic compounds. And I guess a lot of it is because we fail to realize that not all science has to have some sort of practical application that can make you a billion dollars or do something cool. Instead, at the heart of it all, we're fueled by a genuine curiosity to create and find new things, and I hope the discovery of four new elements excites you as well. The four super heavy elements in question were isolated by a multinational group of scientists, and they'll sit at the end of the periodic table, finally completing the seventh row. The scientists will also get the naming rights, though there's been a bit of stagnation on that front because we're still nameless on all four of them. Okay, so unfortunately, the scientists did have to cheat just a little bit when discovering the four new elements. Typically in nature, the formation of any element heavier than iron requires lighter atoms to collide with each other with so much force that it only happens in really extreme environments, like the inside of a supernova. Luckily, however, we can do the same things ourselves using atom smashers and colliders to take two nuclei, throw them against each other with so much force that they eventually overcome their own nuclear bonds, and you go faster and faster until the formation of a new element occurs. Think of it almost like rolling a very big boulder up a super steep hill, and the heavier the element you try to create, the steeper the hill. To create these elements, scientists took berkelium and smashed it together with calcium ions until they had ended up with six atoms of element 117. Obviously, we're nameless for a little while, so we'll call it element 117. Now, the interesting thing about elements like these is that they have very short half-lives, right? Heavy elements can last sometimes minutes or even seconds until they decay. So it was only a matter of moments until element 117 had began its alpha decay chain and decomposed into daughter isotopes of element 115 and element 113. A separate experiment on the side also saw the development of element 118, which took almost nine years of smashing nuclei together. So why is this important? Well, stuff like this has huge implications in the field of quantum mechanics. It's experiments like these that allow us to take very vague and theoretical complex science and match it up with something concrete. Now, just as a quick example of why stuff like this is so key to our understanding of chemistry and science, element 118 is actually bugging out scientists. It's supposed to behave like elements in its group, right? It's supposed to be a halogen, but it exhibits this weird chemical behavior that seems to throw everyone off the board. Also, at such large atomic sizes, current established theories about molecular geometry are kind of thrown out the window. So on one hand, we have the periodic table and a very neat way of organizing elements, their chemical structure, their geometric structure. And then on another hand, we have a brand new element that seems to break all of those rules. How can something so intrinsic to our understanding of science just not work in this case? It's stuff like this that drives us absolutely nuts, but also inspires us to do something new at the same time. And I hope you found it exciting as well. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.